We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at these. And what these are are Diamond Extremes. So we have Cayenne Pepper, they give me two stars, and there's no crying and snacking. Ghost Pepper, three, also no crying and snacking. I'm assuming that the Habanero Barbecue is maybe the one pepper, I don't know. I, they're not... Just, they're just starting it to you, I guess, arbitrarily. Go hot or go home for the Carolina Reapers. So, seeing Carolina Reapers start making their way to the shelves, more than anything, the introduction of these is really what kind of, and I mentioned it in my blog update, uh, which you can uh, read through in the blog, uh, in the link in the description below. But what I was saying was I think we're on the verge of another hot sauce renaissance. These things come in waves and to see something like this on shelves, I think we're going to be looking, hopefully, at a lot of hot and spicy stuff coming out in 2021. Watch the restaurants. That's where stuff starts to show up when the wave is really hitting. But seeing these snack foods, like these, these two are really interesting to me. Uh, Scorpion I don't see used as much. I, and I think it's because it's not as, as flavorful as, say, a ghost is. And it doesn't have the, the punch of, uh, of the Reaper. So uh, what we're, what we're going to try to do, I think, for this one is I've got, I've, got the, I've got the cups. We're going to do a, a wild card. So I haven't shot round nine of the head-to-head -head battle of the hot nuts yet. Round nine is probably going to be the last one uh, for a variety of reasons that I will get into in that video. Uh, and you can look for that, of course, in the Head to Head Battles playlist, which is the same playlist this one is in. But Round 9 is kind of where I'm going to cap that. This one is a playoff to see if any of these are going to have the requisite spice or flavor to get into Round 9, the final round. So right now we have got the Terrapin Smoking Company's uh, Smoke Trinidad Scorpion Pistachios as by far the best flavored. Uh, of any of the rounds and it's been holding it's been holding court for a while and on the hot side we have the Carolina Reaper peanuts from Blazing Foods the wild those have been the hottest of anything that I've had and so realistically if this isn't going to approach one or both of those two then I'm probably just going to enjoy them after this but we're going to go through them and check out the Cayenne. Cayenne's an interesting choice to me. We're going to kind of check out the Cayenne and just really see where these fall in terms of both flavor and of heat. Now, I do enjoy I do enjoy almonds quite a bit. They're, they're a good snack. I do enjoy having those around. I don't like almond butter particularly. Almonds themselves, so I do like to have around. Uh, we can see we don't have anything huge here. And... They're they're nice looking though. They they smell these smell like salted, just your normal almonds. So let's uh, let's try a couple. Hmm. This is leaning a bit too heavily towards onions for me though to really enjoy. I don't like that flavor. How did I get more into it? Yeah, that's a shame. I actually don't want to continue with these. Oh, I hope they're not all like that. All right, so these are gross. These, I, I don't, I think I'm done with those. These cayenne ones are, that's a shame. That is a shame. 
we almost never get to have cayenne, just straightforward cayenne, unless you buy cayenne powder. Of course, I've been using that for years. That's a staple of a lot of my rubs and whatnot. All right, this is the ghost pepper. Before we get to it, I need a palate cleanser because those uh, cayenne ones are nasty. Okay, palate is cleansed. So here we have ghost pepper. Let's give these a whack. These are interesting. They're not particularly hot. They are uh, well coated, as you can see. But they're not very hot. They actually kind of remind me of one of the uh, Big Red's hot sauces. It's kind of along the lines of like a God's Wrath, sorry, God's Wrath, or the Three Kings. It reminds me of that. Hmm. Alright. I, I can't say that either one of these, th this one is definitely not spicy either. So, I remember a hard time rating the heat on this. We'll come back to it. Okay, now we have the Carolina Reaper, and I just want to see what's in these so I don't get. Okay. Ah, that really sucks about the cayenne. I'm really disappointed. Okay, so here we have the. Okay, we've got the Reaper. I've read. Oh. Whoa, those have a, hmm. So these, these smell really more just like salted. These have a distinct smell to them. They definitely have that kind of reaper bit of sweet smell to them. I'm, I'm interested here. Whoa. This is fascinating. It's got a certain type of flavoring that yeah, acetic acid. It's got that little bit of astringency too. Wow, these are really good. They're not hot either. These are excellent. Wow. Hmm. What's kind of funny is this was the hardest one to find and it's a shame because it's by far the best. Definitely in flavor. So here's kind of the weird side of this. We're only going to do this with two of them. Hey! It's delayed but there's a little bite to this. Alright, let's go for a burn. Oop. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go for the burn just like we do every time we do a head to head. Reapers are gonna go there. And here's the ghost pepper. Just to see if we can get so I'm I'm saying that these are probably a one, these are a default one. So legit one, default one. They're not Especially challenging for any chili head. Uh, non chili heads might have some reservations actually with the Reapers. These other ones, though, no, and these are just flatly disgusting. All right, so here you go. Here's mud in your eye.
Alright. These are more tangy than anything. Alright, that was a ghost. I just have a very, very light tingle. All right, I'll still give these default one. All right, here we go. On to the Reapers. Well, what can I say? I mean, <clears throat> this is true. There's no crying here. Um, okay. So even after that, which is two ounces, <sighs> yeah, I mean, I guess I'll give this one. A barely. Barely a legit one. So, to compare it, the Reaper Peanuts from Blazin, the Wilds, I put pushing a four. So this is not gonna be hot enough. Flavor-wise, I start to get tired of it. I really wish these were smoked, also. That would have helped quite a bit. This, this flavor just gets Tedious. I just get tired of it. This one to an extent too. Having these smoked would have really been helpful. But anyway, so let's just go through. Cayenne. Rubbish. That will be binned at the conclusion. Ghost pepper. Solidly in the middle. Very solid. Uh, this this is a, this is a good one to see. Okay, so if you can tolerate the heat for this, then move on to Reaper. And if you can turn on to Reaper, then you can start looking at uh, you know maybe maybe the chili head thing is something for you if you if you're just starting out. If you're a chili head, this is the only one, the Reaper, both in terms of flavor and in heat that will even provide any interest at all. And I think honestly, it's going to be slight. I don't think these are going to be satisfying chili heads either. Unless they like kind of a stringent -y type almonds, I guess. But for me, this was the best in terms of heat and flavor both. It just is not, none of these, none of these are good enough to get into round nine. So this is just going to be a head-to-head -head with basically it's stacking up, pardon the pun, just like this. Cayenne on the bottom, Ghost, then the Reaper. But there you have it. There is the entire Diamond Extremes all-in line. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.